This week on the show, we have American actress Sophia Ali. Sophia recently stars in the blockbuster movie Uncharted alongside Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about understanding that the idea of taking risks might be scary. But isn't the idea of never trying and living in regrets even scarier? The simple reality is, if you're too afraid to ask for what you want in life, the answer will always be no. Playing by the rules and being safe in your comfort zone feels familiar. Our brains tell us to stay where we are to avoid the unknown and avoid potential pain or heartbreak. But what if everything we wish for is on the other side of fear? What if by taking one small risk daily, we can get one step closer to achieving our goals and living the life of our dreams? If so, it's worth a shot, right? Make it your mission today to take a chance on something you've always wanted. The most that can happen is that you will receive a no, but walk away feeling proud of yourself because you actually gave it a shot. Successful people understand that failure is a part of life and that on the other side of fear lies opportunity, fulfillment, and a knowing that you are the creator of your own destiny. As Roy Bennett quotes, the one who falls and gets up is stronger than the one who never tried. Do not fear failure, but rather fear not trying. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, let's talk about Uncharted. It's such a big movie. I mean, you play one of the lead characters. Uh, you play the strong, beautiful woman. So let's talk about that. Talk to us about your experience, you know, playing alongside Mark Wahlberg. Um, yeah, tell us about it. Um, Uncharted was sort of, I felt, felt like it was a joke. Um, you know, I was like, you're joking, you know, there's no way. Mm -hmm. I just didn't believe it. I never believed it. Um, even like after we were done filming, I was like, okay, you're going to cut me out of the entire movie, <laughs> which would be the whole movie, like basically, you know? Uh, um, yeah. And, and then when I went to go see it, um, you know, I mean, it, it, it's so cool. And it's also just, I, I, I'm, I'm so proud of myself, honestly. Um, it was a challenge. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have American actress, Sophia Ali. Sophia is best known for her work in The Wilds, Grey's Anatomy, and most recently in the blockbuster movie, Uncharted, along Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland. Sophia, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm great, how are you? I am doing fantastic. I'm so excited to speak with you. Um, you have so many exciting projects going on and you know, you're becoming a big household name, but before we get into that, I wanna you know, dive into your love for acting. When did it begin and what kind of sparked your interest? I've always loved performing and um, you know, entertaining. I don't know, I feel, maybe I'm just an attention person. I, I don't know where I was when I was a kid and it felt like the right thing to do, but I, I sort of formed a passion for acting um, as my career went on. I think also like money was a driving factor. Um, I don't know if that makes me sound, <laughs> you know, greedy or something, but I do love acting. Um, but it felt so hard to like say that that's the reason why I'm doing it because, you know, you don't really have control over the roles you play and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but I, I, yeah, I love it. There's a challenge with the, you know, fitting to different roles and stuff like that that I never expected. Well, I love your honesty and as long as you're good at it, right? Because you're an amazing actress. So I love I know, that right? you're- Thank God. <laughs> so, you know, what? it worked out for you. So it's, it's, it's... It really did. <laughs> it really did. So what were the first steps that you took towards, you know, making this acting dream into a reality? Um, I started dancing and doing, when I was eight, commercials and um, print work and stuff like that uh, to make money and then it just sort of went into acting. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to talk about your role as Dr. Dahlia on Grey's Anatomy. Let's let's talk about that experience. Oh, it was 
magical. Um, I, uh, I think, that, oh wow, I, I could go on and on about this, on and on. Um, I was talking to someone the other day about it, you know. Um, there was always this like scaredness that I had um, around portraying a Muslim character. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, obviously I have tattoos and I'm, you, you know, I'm not the typical Muslim and I didn't, I didn't want to um, offend anyone or, mm -hmm. or, or make it look like I, I wasn't being respectful. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, I, my family practices the faith and uh, I grew up around it and you know, I was, I've always been given freedom to believe what I want and I think that sort of led me through to the path of acting um, and now being able to represent them um, because of all of these different reasons uh, I don't know just the tattoos and everything led me to be want to be more in the arts or artistic type you know what I mean yeah it's just like a weird turn of like time of events you know yeah. um, and I feel like you know, I don't. I don't know. I can't speak for for every Muslim, but I I feel like they they do kind of get a sense of empowerment, you know, um, mm -hmm. from being able to see it, and that that brings me incredible joy. Plus, you know, I don't want them to think that they're terrorists. Not that they <laughs> that they do, but it, I don't know. You just like in your head, you're like, oh, that's how we're perceived, so that must be what everyone thinks. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to talk about how you're unapologetically yourself and you see that on camera too I think that's what's uh, led to your success as well is that you know in any character you're playing you're also yourself and you can see your personality shine through have you always been just unapologetically yourself and authentic or was it something that you kind of stepped into because that that's the goal in life right is to just be real be honest and just be who you are right I think that's what makes people successful rather than yeah. trying to be something else and I love that about you Thank you. That's really nice of you to say. Um, I really don't know if it was like a conscious thing. I know I definitely um, felt sort of backlash from probably birth. I don't know. Um, that's a really, I don't know. Let me think about that for a second. <laughs> have I always felt like I, I know I have had moments of being ashamed of myself, you know? Um, and those were always so random. Um, also, I grew up in Texas. Uh, and as much as I love Texas, you know, sometimes they can be a little bit closed minded when it comes to um, brown people, mm -hmm. uh, you know? And, and, and so I think maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit of the way I am is because I was trying not to perpetuate a stereotype or something. I don't know that they might have had in their mind. Um, but I never really thought that I couldn't be my, just myself, you know? I never really felt a pressure to like choose a lane or be someone specific. Um, and, and maybe there was that and I just ignored it. I don't know. <sighs> Yeah, no, I, I totally get it. You know what, when I first started my show, I remember I was very newsy and very serious and a friend of mine told me, you know what, this is your show, just be who you are and say how you feel and people will re resonate with that and that's what I did. So, and it wasn't that I was afraid to be myself at first, but you kind of step into it. So I love that you're just being yourself, you're being you and it's obviously taking you places so that's amazing i want to talk about the movie india sweets and spices it's such a heartfelt epic movie um and you play the character so well so let's talk about that and did you feel did it resonate with you a little bit uh playing this character especially because you are from south asian descent as well yeah i've definitely felt a little bit like an outcast my whole life uh, i definitely related to the character that's the whole, whole reason why i wanted to do it yeah. um yeah I mean, it sort of goes back uh, to what I was saying before, you know, not feeling any pressure and stuff um, or ignoring it. Um, really, I just want to like do my people right and proud, in a, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I want to represent, but I also don't want to limit. Um, and I felt like Alia was that character. Um, she wasn't a stereotype, you know, um, she, she sort of I'd never really seen a South Asian character portrayed like I know, that. yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I, and I like that she's strong and she's not conventional. And I feel like, you know, the new generation of South Asians is like that, right? We're, we're non-conventional and we follow our own path. So I, I love that you portray that character. And I think that the character is very similar to you as well, which is very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. She is very similar. Right? She handles things better than I do. Um, <laughs> she's very similar. <laughs> Let's talk about Uncharted. It's such a big movie. I mean, you play one of the lead characters. Uh, you play the strong beautiful woman so let's talk about that talk to us about your experience you know playing alongside Mark Wahlberg um, yeah tell us about it um, Uncharted was sort of I felt felt like it was a joke <laughs> um, you know I was like you're joking you know there's no way mm -hmm. I just didn't believe it I never believed it um, even like after we were done filming I was like okay you're gonna cut me out of the entire movie <laughs> which would be the whole movie like basically, you know uh, um, yeah and, and then when I went to go see it um, you know I mean it, it it's so cool and it's also just I, I I'm, I'm so proud of myself honestly um, it was a challenge and I, I feel like I, I, I felt this pressure to um, to play this woman um, and and inspire young women with her mm -hmm. and that was my own added pressure, you know, and um, and, uh, and and I sort of came to this realization that I'm only going to be able to do that if I'm myself. Yeah, which is, uh, which is sort of the theme of this interview, right? Uh, yeah, that, that that's a message to everyone watching: is to be yourself and to not care what people think. That was actually my intro of my my show last week: is to let go of the opinions of others and just be yourself because life is too short and and i feel like when you're yourself that's when great things happen and i mean this role is epic and huge so congratulations on it by the way thank you thank you very very much yeah no it's hard because the opinions of others um they don't matter but you still have to hear them you don't really have a choice yeah you know yeah no i totally get it as long as so it when you say let go you. it's like definitely easier said than done it definitely you know? is right but it, it's uh it's it's definitely listening to other people but not being influenced to not listen to your own voice right so so that's why it's i think it's important to stay true to yourself what kind of or have a good sense of self right? yes exactly because then you won't be influenced that much by others if you really know yourself and you know who you are then other people's opinions are just that right just their opinions right. what kind of prep work oh sorry so we're gonna say <laughs> no, what no. if their opinions are right i mean if it's constructive criticism i think that's a whole different <laughs> that's right. a whole different ball game right <laughs> and then you sort of decide for yourself who you're gonna let do that in your life i don't know i'm figuring this out for myself too so this is interesting yeah i think if it's constructive criticism and someone is telling you something that you know is true then you should listen i mean yeah. <laughs> you know i i just think that you shouldn't be influenced by by people's opinions and to the point where you're not yourself you know like yeah. where you're and, and you don't have that problem obviously because you're being true to yourself and um in this industry and all your roles Let's talk about the prep work that went into Uncharted and your character, because there's a lot of physically demanding uh, scenes. I, uh, I trained a bunch. I worked out in the gym a bunch with weights. Uh, I got really strong, probably stronger than I ever have in my life, and I felt very capable. So just so you know, when you go to the gym and lift weights and get bigger muscles, you become better at things. Like, like it's easier to do things, you know, lift things, move furniture around, stuff like that. You stop sort of second guessing yourself. You know, you're like, oh, I could do this. I can yeah. do this too. <laughs> you know, it's who knew? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, that was, that was part of it, part of it. Yeah. And, and you talked about representation and I know that's important for you is, um, because I know I read in an article that you said that you didn't see people that look like yourself growing up. So let's talk about that and what being, you know, um, a beacon of light and representing means for you. Yeah, I think that maybe I was like delusional as a kid or something. Um, because if I think back and I'm like, what made me want to do this if I didn't have an example of it? Yeah. Um, you know, 
And I, I don't really know the answer to that, to be completely honest, but um, I'm happy to be here, you、mm. know? I feel like I deserve it,、um, mm. not more than anyone else, obviously, but、um, uh, I still feel like I deserve it. I don't know. It's, it's tricky.、Um, it's definitely tricky. Yeah. And looking back, are you surprised by all the success you've had and how, how you've jumped to such huge roles? Yeah, yeah.、Um, I, I was still, even though I, I aimed for something unrealistic, I was still realistic about it. Like, I was like, I'll play the best friend in things. I'll play, you know, <laughs> like the, the neighbor or whatever, <laughs> you, you know?、Um, <laughs> so to have this career is a big shock for me. I never thought we'd get there. And now that we're here, I'm like, oh, okay,、um, this is probably. Not even close to like scratching the surface. <laughs> yeah, of, of you know? where you're going to be going, which is incredible and exciting. Look,、right? Not even just about me, I just mean for like South Asian women、mm. um, and portrayable characters, you know,、yeah. uh, like just the depth and stuff that is going to be available, hopefully, for, for、um, you know, young actors. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know, I created this platform to inspire, to motivate, and to showcase that anything is possible if you have a dream and a vision. So, Sophia, what is your advice for someone that, you know, maybe doesn't fit in or feels like they don't fit in, is not seeing their dreams manifest,、um, or just not seeing the results they want to? What would you say to motivate and inspire them to keep pushing through? Yeah. I don't think that there's much. Of、um, forcing things.、Uh, mm-hmm. I don't think that, like, you can, you can work really hard and that's probably a good thing, but、uh, forcing something is like it's never going to work. You can't,、mm-hmm. like, you have to sort of wait for the world, you know,、mm-hmm. in a way. And、um, I think that if you're feeling like a loner, that's a good thing, you know, because then you're not a people pleaser.、Mm-hmm. Um, And, and you know, then you, you, you're forming genuine connections. And maybe it's tricky, maybe the people in your life aren't、um, you know, genuine, but they'll learn,、um, or, you'll meet, or you'll meet the right people. And you know, it all, everything always happens eventually. Like, it only doesn't happen when you give up. So、mm-hmm. don't give up and just like never stop believing in yourself, right? I mean, That felt like a quote, but it's so true. Like, <laughs> but it's true, yeah. It, it sounds like cliche advice, right? But it's so true. I mean, it really boils down to that is not giving up on yourself and, and having the confidence and to keep pushing, right? Until you see results. Because you will. If you, if you don't quit, you will eventually see the light at the end of the tunnel. Tell people, I always tell people if you want to do something, whatever it is, you're good enough. Yeah, exactly. You, you'll find a way, right? <laughs> right. Like if you, you want to do it, so that means. You're good enough, right? Or at least you become good enough. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And Sophia, what else are you currently working on? Currently, nothing.、Uh, <laughs> um, sorry, I go on and on about representation, and I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I did my part. I'm finished. <laughs>、um, the second season of The Wild is coming out、oh, nice. uh, in like a week,、mm. May 6th. And、um, then we'll film, you know, hopefully, if that all goes well, we'll film the third season soon. And yay.、Um, but no, nothing, nothing so far. I mean, I'll keep you updated, but I've been, I've been picky a little bit. Good to be picky. Well, you know, congratulations on your success. There's big things for you. I can see you w- winning like an Academy Award one day. I'm going to say it now. I'm putting it out into the universe. I see it happening for you. I think you're an That's amazing actress. That's so nice of you. You know, you're an amazing actress.、Um, I love that you're so humble and real. I really like that. It's been ref- this you has think been I'm a humble. Ref- That's so nice. Yeah, this has been a very refreshing interview that you're just being yourself and very authentic. Because sometimes, you know, I interview a lot of big people and Sometimes they're very put on. So it's really nice to have someone just real and just have an open conversation. I appreciate that actually. So thank you for that. <laughs> Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. Hey, you can fly higher than the sky.